In this video, I'm going to show you how to add lace to a heart and a hanging string so that you can gift something beautiful to a loved one. So in a previous video, I showed you how to stitch around a heart shape. Now, the best way we established to do this was using a seam guide. Now, if you place your seam guide along uh, directly on the machine and just follow your pattern round, you will get yourself a perfect seam allowance all the way around your heart, find pivot points and you can sew a perfect shape. So that would be circular, whether it be square, whether it be a heart. So one of the questions I was asked on that video was how do you attach lace? How do you attach lace without having a meltdown? So let me show you how to do that Right, so I've got my thread. I'm using two lengths. So I've doubled it over. I'm going to tie a knot, so just wind that around my finger and roll it off. And then just lay the lace on the heart there. I'm going to start at the end there. And just basically, we're just going to run a stitch going in over and through. Just make sure I don't form a loop. And then just do a running stitch. This is called basting. Or some people call it tacking. And then just take your time. You might want to do small stitches around the curves. So I can just see the two layers there matching. Okay. And use a good quality thread when you do these projects. You don't want it coming undone. So just follow that curve round. Can you see how all the lace is sort of gathering up there? If you try to do that without basting this, you might struggle, especially if you're a new person sewing this together. So keep going. Now I'm running out of thread here. So you make sure when you do this, you've got a long enough thread. So I'll show you how to tie the knot. So just go in and out and then go through. And then just a couple of knots there. Just a couple of small stitches there in the same space. And then just start again and continue on until you've covered all the whole of that area in lace. I'm going to cut another heart out, but this time it's actually quite big. And practice on big hearts first if you're new to this. So I've drawn a template there. Okay, so here are my two pieces of heart. So there they are. And I'm going to just baste using the machine the lace to the heart. And I'm going to start at the bottom of the heart. So let's overlap the lace. I'm going to use the inside of that to match. I'll show you there without the lace. So can you see that gap there? I'm going to use that as my guide to baste the lace on. So let's do that now. And let's start from there. Now it's always handy to have an automatic machine, but if you don't, don't worry, you can do this without. Just press the pedal really lightly and then just on along the straight line, it's fine. So when we start getting to the curve, this is where we will start lifting the press foot ever so slightly and turn. So we just do a couple of stitches, keep that steady. And when we can see it's coming away, we turn. Let's zoom you out a bit so you can see. So I can see I'm going to be 
we need to move that. Lift and move it round. The important thing to remember when you're learning or doing this for the first time, take your time, get the technique right. Speed isn't important, technique is. So get the technique right and then speed comes after. And because this is such a big heart, there's less for me to turn around. And then we're coming to sort of the straight of the centre of the heart. So make sure the seam allowance is right there. Curving it in a bit more. And then when we get to the point, what you need to do is think of that let me show you the other piece. So what we have to do is when we get to this centre point here, is we have to imagine a line. So you imagine where this centre fold line is and we want to try and hit our needle there before we start pivoting and coming round the corner or rather round the curve that way. So keep going because I'm not quite there yet and I think we are there now so then we can just pivot all the way around now it might not come if you've got a quite a, a wide peak there it might not come all the way around so this is quite a steep curve this bit so there's a lot of turning involved As long as we stick with that seam allowance. Now we don't need a turning hole on this because we're sewing this right down to the whoops right down to the heart. Okay. And just keep going round. And we're on the home stretch. And that just means this part of the heart is on the straight. And it's much easier to follow without having to stop and start. So you can see you have to stop and turn quite a lot. Let's lock that into place there. So it's quite a fancy machine. It does everything for me automatically. If you don't have the benefit of a machine like this, don't worry. You can do it anyway. Let's just trim that away and that away. Let me show you. So you've got the perfect heart shape there all the way round. If you want to attach a hanging, this is what to do. Let's attach that to there. Like that. Mm -hmm. 
So what I need to do now, just to make sure I don't sew it into the heart, I'm going to just place the pin there. Now it's dead center. Okay, so I'm gonna get the second piece of heart and I'll lay that on top like that. I'm going to make sure everything is matching up. Like that. I'm going to make sure everything is matching up. Place that there. I'm going to pull out that pin and I'm going to replace it on top like that. So that when I turn the heart over, it's not in my way of turning hole. So stick with a turning hole on a straight piece. Let's do our couple of T's. I've gone for a smaller hole this time. And I'm going to start there. And this time I'm going to use the inside of the perspex foot. Okay, be a bit more confident with this now. Now that I know the lace is in, just one more stitch to think. That's better. And then just walk it round. So only turn as I know the needle is out. Careful not to over pull and go nice and slow. If you find you might need to stop, stop. Not proving a point to anybody. And then just go around that way. Let's stop there. Just gonna make sure our fabric's matching up. Okay. Just it out. I'm coming up to the T. Phew. Out of the way. And let's remove these pins. Let's do our clipping again. So let's get rid of that excess there. Let's make sure we get right into there. We can take that extra lace away now because it's been sewn in. Okay. And then let's just clip. And you want to make sure you clip around the curves. It's a very important part of the process because you want to be able to have the curves nicely turned. And there we go. Let's move that out of the way for a minute. And if you use your stick, you can do is the pointy side is draw around the curve that. so as you get more confident you'll find you're able to go for a narrower seam allowance so practice lots of practice practice makes perfect Okay, so catch the lace and then back through the fold. And that's quite a big stitch there. 